Elantra is developing a hypersonic space plane. This will enable the most cost-efficient access to low Earth orbit. Space planes have been a dream for a long time, but have become possible recently due to breakthroughs in hypersonic propulsion. The way our system will work is it will take off with an air-breathing engine and accelerate to Mach 5.5 and about 125,000 feet. At that point, we will detach and launch a traditional second-stage liquid-fueled rocket directly into the desired end orbit, except for this system is 600% more fuel-efficient allowing us to dramatically reduce cost. So this is an afterburning turbojet. It's the most advanced one on the market right now, and it's uh, at a size and scale to power a UAV up to Mach 2. This is a, the turbo machinery. This portion is just a standard jet engine. So what happens is we suck air in, we run it through a compressor, it squishes it down, we ignite it on fire, it accelerates to a turbine, which powers the compressor, and then at that point, traditionally, the air would exit here, and that's your standard jet engine. However, the majority of the oxygen in the air is actually not burned. So what we do is we go over here, we add more fuel to the system, we burn all the oxygen, this allows us to extract all of the energy and ignite it, burn it through a combustion chamber here, accelerate it at a nozzle. This is what enables a system to go up to about Mach 2 and something that we're uh, currently the, the market leaders on with the most advanced aftermarine turbojet there is for uh, this size and thrust class. Ohio is the birthplace of aviation, so that's pretty exciting. For aerospace, there's a deep-rooted talent as deep as it goes to the first uh, flight developed is there, so it's hard to find a place that has more deep-rooted uh, history and culture of, of flight and then the, the manufacturing, the facilities, the knowledge, the know-how.